Box. Red FM. FM. Well, I'll be disappointed that they didn't uh, give more loyalty to the club, to be honest with you. But from a manager's point of view, uh, nobody's uh, irreplaceable. Everything's fine when the players are taking home substantial amounts of money, more than they deserve, in my opinion, which has the club in the meeting that we're at now in the situation it is. You know, whoever wants to leave, leave. It's their prerogative to leave. But if you're going to stay, you know, make your mind up soon. We'll ride out the storm and we'll march on from there. And I believe that that was going to happen. I knew from day one Big Danny Murray was never going to stay. From day one, I had four meetings with him in the first week, he was never going to stay. So, you know, that one I accepted. Dan Connor, nah, showed no interest. So, Danny Murray was the, one, was the man who I believe and pledged me, 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 me thing with, you know. And if I earned substantial money over a period of five or six years, and every player knows, and they admit to me, that it was a gravy train. You know, and you hit it, I mean, say for argument's sake, you earn 700 tails over a period of time, and you're short of 15 grand, you turn and talk and walk away. I wouldn't do it. You have to show loyalty. You have to close ranks. You have to show respect to the people of Cork City Football Club, the supporters and the people of Cork. If you're a half a man, you accept there's a financial disaster going on in the whole of the world, not just in your little world, in, in your little house in Cork. And you have to have some loyalty and respect for the people that did pay over the, the five or six years, whether it's one owner or another, or you, the supporters who paid the money in. So you don't turn talk on them, and that's what's being done. And, and believe me, I've come in here and I've looked and looked back. I cannot believe the abuse that's been on this club, the abuse of finances with players ripping the club off, with managers ripping the club off. And you can quote me and write that because it's the truth. I just think, you know, it's very uh, childish, immature of Roddy. Um, just makes him look, it just shows him for what he is. And um, I just think he just missed, made him look even sillier to the court public, you know. I think that anyone who knows me and Dan um, knows that Tom gave us them contracts. You know, it's down to Tom to answer the questions about money. Um, we went out and performed every week on the pitch, you know. Tom didn't do his duties off the pitch. And, you know, it, it got shown in about, and we're the ones who are getting the blame for it, you know. Um, We've done our best to get the club into Europe last year and uh, we worked as much as we could for it. We've done the best we could, you know. Um, we were willing to, we waited as long as we could for the club to be sorted out. No one come and spoke to us about pay cuts as of from the end of the season until, you know, they just, if you, did, Tom just outright didn't pay us. Um, you know, it's disappointing for Roddy to say something like that. I thought he was a better person than that. You know, I'm a better person. I'm not going to get into a staggering match with him because I think he's just childish and immature and he's made himself look very bad in what he said. Were you surprised by the comments, Danny? Because, I mean, in any walk of life, I mean, people, it, it's their duty to try and get the best deal for themselves from their employer. So, I mean, it, the players really can't be blamed for, for what salaries the club are paying out. No, of course. I mean, at the end of the day, like, um, I took a pay cut last year because I knew the money I was on before that was a lot of money. And you now I was willing to take a pay cut because I knew it would uh, help the club. Um, took a pay cut, still was never paid it uh, for the whole season. Never got paid once on time. Never got paid the right amount of money ever once and then didn't get paid from October properly onwards until up until now, you know, still haven't been paid by them. You know, over Christmas time, it would have been nice to have been, even if I would have signed on the door, I'd have had more chance of getting my money, and, you know, I'd have liked to have probably done that, but we couldn't do that because we was under contract. So, you know, it's, it's disappointing to hear someone like Roddy, you know, who's got, a, you know, a lot to say but for being at a club in such little time. Yeah, just very finally, Danny, uh, things looking a lot better for Cork City. Uh, good news today, obviously, about the uh, the fans getting involved with the new consortium. I'm sure you're very glad to see that. Yeah, I'm delighted to see that. You know, I think um, it's the only way it can go and move forward is by the fans running the club, you know. Um, it's a massive club, and it's a shame to see it. it, it it's, um, it's heartbreaking to see it in a situation it's in, you know. Um, I know that the people coming in and, you know, the uh, fans and will run the club properly, and they will have a decent structure there and now be able to build a strong club because once you get a few fans in and the club starts getting some success it'll only get bigger in Cork and you know um, it can follow in the, the the way that Rovers has been run you know and uh, hopefully that um, you know the fans Tom, Tom comes to some sort of sense and realises that his, his time's up and he should walk you know um, it, it, I think what he's done to the people not just the people the fans of Cork City but to the, the county of Cork is disgusting and you know I just think it's uh, in any other pre work of life, any other c uh, company, the people we wouldn't let people get away with it, and he just seems to be able to walk all over us this year, you know. But I think it's come to the point now where enough's enough, and people just have to 
stand up and fight him to get him out. Corks. Corks. Red, Red FM. FM.